Hey folks, Inclusive Mall Designs here, and today we're doing a kit review of the MRC 135th scale AH1W Super Cobra. Now, the only reason why I'm doing a review on this one here is because I got into a good discussion yesterday with a few folks about uh, the Cobra model here, and uh, how Academy has theirs, and then obviously MRC had theirs, and the differences between the two kits, and how Academy had taken over the uh, licensing to do their kit, and... Um, not too many people have this one here because it's kind of an old kit from 1992 and not too many people know uh, the differences or if there is any differences. So um, let's go over the differences or if there is any. So from what I've seen, um, as far as the kit itself goes, there isn't really any differences, at least as far as I can see. Um, if you notice any, please put it in the comments and um, then we'll discuss them. But um, without any further ado, let's just kind of get right into it. Um, now, obviously, right off the bat, the, the differences I noticed were the instructions. Now, the MRC instructions, not the best, okay? Um, at least that I've noticed, and or as far as like a, a beginner modeler will notice right off the bat. Lots of uh, reading to do, but as far as building goes, I mean, you're going to get little pictures, a lot of writing, okay? It'll tell you what parts to put in and stuff, but little pictures. As where the academy instructions, you get a nice big expanded picture blow up, you know, that we're all used to. But as far as the MRC instructions go, I mean, again, this is from 1992. But I remember building models as a kid and never had, you know, this. So you might really have to double, double check if you have the MRC. Normally, I don't sit there and, and you know, show instructions. But, I mean, that's... You know, that's a little vague, okay, I will admit for instruction booklet. And the decal sheet, I'm getting old. You know, again, this is from 1992, might not be the best instruction, or sorry, uh, decal sheet to use. Um, I did order um, an aftermarket set, and it seems how the Marine Corps is the only P, uh, group to use the, uh, the W variant of the Cobra. Um, shouldn't be too hard to find a nice aftermarket decal sheet, which I did. So that's that. So I probably won't be using those. More than likely will not be using those. So let's just get into the parts. Um, from what I can tell from the Academy kit to the MRC kit, that looks pretty identical. You got a mixture of raised as well, like uh, the raised I feel, it'll feel like the rivets. And then you get the recessed panel lines. As far as compartments go, they're same opened. And you can see MRC 1992. I do not have the Academy kit, but I'm going off of pictures that I've seen online. It looks identical to me. Now I do have uh, the clear pieces. Some pieces have, you know, that piece fell off. Here's my canopy piece, which is in excellent condition. For its age and very clear might I add even for uh, you know a model this old so you know I'm pretty happy with that so we'll just continue on here now I did order some aftermarket uh, parts for this some Edward sets and things which I do recommend but again for a kit of its age it ain't too bad I have seen the Academy kits on eBay go for quite a bit, so if you do see an MRC kit and it's you know for cheap, which I believe this one, I did buy this on eBay a few years back and I don't think it cost me all that much. So you know I'm kind of glad I did spend the money and I feel like my skills are confident enough to you know to, to navigate through these instructions fairly well. And more than likely, I will have this with the windows, uh, like the, the side, like doors, or I guess I'm not too sure what you call them, you know, open. So I want to have pilots sitting in there and such. So more than likely, I will have a lot of the details in the cockpit, you know, more detailed than, than the average uh, person will. So I, you know, the aftermarket sets are pretty much for me, if not scratch building some. So there's some of the armament, things like that. 
So in the comments below, if you do have this kit or, or know more about this kit than I, and you know, if you notice something that's different between this one and the uh, Academy kit, please chime in. I'm, you know, by no means an expert between the two kits. I'm just putting, you know, this out there for the people that don't have the MRC kit. But, you know, I have seen this online and go, no, I'll just spend, you know, the extra money and just get the Academy kit, that kind of thing. Which I've considered. I've actually considered buying the Academy kit thinking, you know, I'll just spend the extra coin and, you know, make sure I get a better kit. But from what I've seen, like, again, you know, this is the same same model. And I'll just spend the 20 bucks and, and get the, you know, the, the, the better decals. Which is what I want anyway, because I want to, you know, make this my own helicopter. I don't want to just follow some pattern. Now, there, there's not a piece missing here. That's just the tail rotor that again fell out. So there we go. So there's not too many pieces here. I think there's like 125 or something like that. So that's the MRC version of this model kit from 1992. And, um, you know, I will start building this here just because there's been no helicopter models on this channel. And I've had a few emails asking for me, for me to start a helicopter model. And, um, you know, so I will start a helicopter model on this channel. And uh, again, if you have the Academy version or know more about this, please chime in. You know, I, I, I value you guys' input. I'm by no means an expert on, you know, the different model kits and things like that. I'm just putting information out there just uh, so everyone has you know more to go on and they can make an educated decision when you are buying a model kit um, because I don't want to see you know people you know breaking the bank on a model kit they could have had for twenty dollars instead of spending you know two hundred models that, or two hundred dollars that kind of thing. So anyway, guys, thanks uh, so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like always, uh, have yourself a good one and happy modeling. Bye.